Once again, St. Louis was way out front when it first created the Forest Park Highlands Amusement Park. One of only a few amusement parks in the entire world, it was rated among the top four. The park was dedicated June 24, 1876, with a crowd of about 50,000 in attendance. Long time before there was Wet Willies or Six Flags Over Mid-America, or even before the World's Fair, there was the Forest Park Highlands. It was always fun to go to the Highlands. It was a special treat for the day to be able to go and pay your fare and spend the day on the different rides that were there. The roller coaster was always the special one and it was called the Comet. And it was all wood. I don't know that they would ever put something like that up in today's world, but it was it was up and down and and it was it was a wonderful experience at the time it was fun but then there were days when we went just to go to the pool and that was another whole thing it was it was a wonderful pool that they had and we when the days we did that we didn't go on the rides we went just to go to the pool now the the buildings that have been erected since then have been done on the farm of the Comet. The Daniel and Henry building is there and the roof of the building is up and down in a circular motion, sort of like the what was the Comet. And it's very interesting to see how they erected that. From its glory years till its final years, the Forest Park Highlands had some of the most interesting rides of any amusement park. It had, for example, a ride called the Flying Turns, which was the closest thing there was to a bobsled. There were actually very few of those manufactured at the time that the Highlands was in action. Other rides also include the Slowpoke, the train that actually went underneath and through the Comet, the roller coaster. Sometimes it was quite interesting when the train and the roller coaster were headed for nearly the same point at the same time. While the most famous of the rides, the Comet, isn't with us these days, the Carousel did make it and you can still see it Monday through Friday each week. Then on July 19th of 1963, the unthinkable happened. The Forest Park Highlands burned to the ground. One story says that the fire started in an electrical building underneath the restaurant, but it's unproven. And there's another story that says it started in the kitchen of the restaurant. Now, most people tend to believe the latter story, but I don't think we'll ever be able to prove which one it was. The smoke was so thick that it drifted across Highway 40 in such columns it closed Highway 40 which was a good thing, because soon the ground heated up so hot that even blocks away, it buckled the pavement of the superhighway. Approximately 260 firemen joined in on the effort. Nine were hurt, over a mile of fire hose was burned, and when they ran out of water, they had to pump the water out of the pool to finish putting out the fire. The true dates of the park's lifetime were from its inauguration on June 24, 1876, up until its final demise on July 31, 1965.